Um, the next award is the Bill Strasbaugh Award. In 1995, Eden Foster was named head golf professional of the Maidstone Club on Long Island. And in the past 18 years, he has made a tremendous impact on the club, its membership, and on his staff. Eden not only shows his assistants how to run a first-class operation, but also prepares them to meet any challenge and be ready for any career opportunity. 18 assistants who have worked for Eden at both Maidstone and Calusa Pines have advanced to head pro positions, 18. That is due largely to the fact that Eden sets an incredible example for his crew. And just to go through a couple of bullet points here, one of the best merchandisers in the Met section, He's created excellence with teaching operations and junior programs. He's long been a Golf Magazine Top 100 instructor. He's always been a willing host for Met Section tournaments. And he's been very active with charity work and has started fundraising tournaments for the ALS Association and the First Tee. In summary, Eden is a successful PGA professional who goes out of his way to motivate and share with others. He's an excellent mentor for the next generation of golf professionals, and that is what the Bill Strasbaugh Award is all about. A great ambassador for the PGA and our section, the 2013 Bill Strasbaugh Award winner, Eden Foster. Okay, um, for those of you that are wondering, it's been uh, 10 years. Okay, everybody's going, wow, I haven't seen Eden in a meeting in a long time. Um, but, uh, and it, it's not just because I'm getting an award. I've been uh, busy. I've been down in Florida this time of year. And um, it's an honor and a privilege to be here. And it's great to see a lot of faces that I haven't seen in a long time. Um, there's a lot of thank yous that I need to give out. But uh, first and foremost, I want to thank my family, my wife, uh, my kids, the members at Calusa Pines down in Naples, the owner Gary Chansoff, um, members at Maidstone, um, the committee who selected me, thank you very much, and um, Charlie, thank you. You've always been, you know, I've called Charlie on pretty much every, even if it isn't in this section, I've talked to Charlie about every um, assistance job that uh, when they're up for a job, I always give Charlie a call first. Thank you, Charlie. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time because I'm, I'm not a big speaker, but uh, my job started out with Stan Garrett at Silver Spring Country Club. Unfortunately, we lost him a few years ago, and Stan was always promoted um, his assistants. And one of the things that Stan always used to tell me is his, his goal in life was all of his assistants to work at great places so when he retired, he could go around and play all their golf courses. And um, so far, I've started a pretty good list. Um, second, Jim Gerber, who um, was the head golf professional at Maidstone when I first started working there. And Jim also promoted me um, and helped out a lot. And uh, Jim is a great man for those of you that uh, didn't get to meet him. He's only in this section for a couple years. Um, but in the um, thing there, uh, the little blurb on what I've done, which... Um, it mentions John Kennedy in there. And I never actually worked for John Kennedy. He's a friend. Um, but uh, Stan Garrett worked for John. And one of the things that John did, and I didn't really realize it at the time, what it meant, but uh, it meant pretty much everything, is I was scheduled to go work for John starting, I think it was maybe mid-April. I was leaving Silver Spring Country Club, and I was on my way to work for John. This was probably March, and um, I got a call from Jim Gerber from Maidstone, and one of his assistants had uh, decided not to come and work for him, and he offered me a job. And now I'm literally two weeks away from starting with John, and I, and I called John, and I said, John, you know, I got this opportunity to go work at Maidstone. What do you think? Um, I don't want to leave you hanging. Obviously, I'm committed to you. 
And his comment was, Eden, if you have an opportunity to work at Maidstone, that's going to be better for your career than working here at Westchester um, and working for me. And it turned out to be the right advice. And ever since then, I've always looked at my assistants and just kind of thought, what can I do to help all of them gain um, access to what, uh, what I've gained in, in life? And so I spend a lot of time with my assistants, and I'm not going to bore you with some of the stuff that we do, but it really is just all kind of smoke and mirrors. I'm not a real, like, I don't have this big, like, Bible or anything like that that they go by. It's all done by feel. Um, the guys that will work for me can tell you that there isn't a whole lot of discussion on how to run the operation or anything. I try to let them make mistakes and learn by, by making mistakes and not being hanging over their shoulders all the time and worried about what they're doing. And the only thing that I can tell you that I've done that I think has been um, helped in success with the guys and gals that I've hired is when I sit down to interview them, which usually takes about two minutes, um, all I look at is how much passion they have for the game, and that's really it. And if I figure if they love the game as much as I do and they love being around people and teaching the game and playing the game and they're always trying to learn on how to get better themselves, um, then the rest of it will come pretty easy to them. So uh, thank you all, and uh, it's a true honor. It's my first award in the section. And now that I'm here year-round, you'll see much more of me. Thank you.